Hi there yogis, welcome to our twisting flow this week. So we're going to be twisting a lot through this practice and there's plenty of other fun stuff going on as well. Now I forgot to bring my microphone today so it might be quite a, a big sound you're hearing, not so contained on my voice. Uh, and then I'm also in a studio where um, the, somebody might walk in so if you hear any background noise or a door closing, it might happen, probably not. But just so you know, I'm just going to keep it rolling anyway. Uh, and just know that always when I post these classes for you that um, I put the music playlist in the, the comments as well in the description. So sometimes I forget and I do that the next day. <laughs> but there's always playlists for you from my Spotify Michelle Rose. So just uh, check them out. The one we're using for this class is um, Yoga 223 Flow, 45 minutes. So let's get started. Today you can sit up to breathe. We're doing deep belly breaths. But if you're really tired, lay down. Because I did um, teach this breath once um, and one of my students was really tired and they fell down. So just lay down if you need to. Now I've got the blinds open today because it's a beautiful blue day. So we've got the sun streaming in. I'm really loving that. So uh, it might shine some funny light on, on me, but, um, but it's, it's lovely. I like to see the blue sky. So sit comfortably, but if you're tired, lay down so you don't accidentally fall down. And let's get cracking. Deep belly breaths, really simple. It's very grounding. Just get my timer going. In the nose, out of the mouth. Four counts in, four counts out if you can manage that. Otherwise, breathe in a comfortable way. So place one or two hands over your tummy so you can feel it move as you breathe. And let's go in for four. Three, two, one, let go. Four, three, two, one. Breathe in for four. Move your hands by puffing out your belly and exhale for four. Four, four. In for four and out for four. Four counts in. Four out. Once you've got the hang of it, you can move your hands if you like. Four in. Four out. Four in. Four out. Four in. Four out. So keep that breath going. Now the intention today is self-encouragement, lots of encouragement towards yourself, lots of positive self-dialogue. Hopefully this is your practice every day. It is for me and it's incredibly helpful. So keep going in for four, out for four. And you might be repeating phrases like, you're doing a good job. Well done, I'm proud of you. Keep going, you're on path, you're on track. Keep it up. In for four. Out for four. In for four. Out for four. Four in. Four out. Four in. Four out. Four in, four out, four in, four out, four in, four out, four in. Four out. Last one in. And out. Now whether you're laying down or sitting up, take your time to come to Balasana Child's Pose. Knees wide so that your chest and ribs can melt down between your legs and open your upper spine. You can reach forward or stack your forearms. Keep 
that self-encouragement going. I don't know if you've seen it, but um, there's this awesome acceptance speech from Snoop Dogg. Is he said it more than once. And the acceptance speech he's talking about, you know when they say, I want to thank this person and that person, he says, firstly, I want to thank myself. And he keeps going on about why he wants to thank himself. Uh, and it's just constant self acknowledgement and self praise. Have a look at it if you haven't seen it. It's really wonderful. Uh, it's very inspiring. And he's been interviewed about it many times and he's like, yeah, that's how I speak to myself. I constantly encourage myself. Um, and that's why he's so kind to others. So take another breath. Let it go. Walk your hands to the right, stack your hands if you can, breathe into this open left side. Walk through center over to the other side, over to your left, breathe into your open right side. Back to center, come on to all fours. Arch your back, lift your tailbone and chin, drop your belly, open up your front line, and then go the other way. Tuck your tailbone and chin, push your upper back strongly to the ceiling. Really open up your spine, your upper back. And then come to down dog, lift your hips up and behind. Walk this out, press one heel down and then the next. So this twisting flow today, so many people have said they absolutely loved it this week in class. Uh, and that always happens when I teach twists. People love to twist. They, do, they feel really nice, really free. So I hope you love it. Now lift your heels and drop your knees to the floor. Then reach your right arm to the sky. We'll start our twist. Thread under. Hold for a breath. Inhale, reach up, thread under, hold for a breath, inhale, reach, exhale, under. If you want, the supporting hand can go over here, you can look up to the ceiling, just relax your bottom shoulder, try to be gentle on it. Unthread the arm, reach up. Hand to the floor, other side, left arm high. Thread under to the right, pause there for a breath. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, thread under. Reach to the sky again. And under. Option to reach a supporting hand up and over here, look up to the ceiling. Unthread the arm, reach up. And then place your hand to the floor. Come back to down dog. Lift your heels, bend your knees, step or hop to the front. Halfway lift is a little deadlift, so squeeze on your glutes. Fold in half. Shuffle your feet closer, bend your knees, roll to stand. Tadasana, shoulders back, lift your chest. Then sweep your arms high overhead. Bring your palms into hard center. Close your eyes, and again, our intention today is heaps of self-encouragement. You're doing a great job, well done, I'm proud of you. You're on track, you're on path, keep going. Take another breath, anchor it in. Let it go. Open your eyes, reach to the sky. Palms join, fold down, Uttanasana. Halfway lift to breathe in, squeeze your glutes on. Step to high plank, then drop straight to low. You can be on your knees if you need. Shoulders elbow high, pause, three, Two, one, cobra. So all the way down, arms bent, pull forward, squeeze on your glutes. So this is cobra if you're not sure. 
Stay here or up dog, squeeze on your thighs, arms straight, legs lifted. Now, if you've got a tight lower back and it's sensitive, do push-ups instead of these back bends. Downward facing, I'm gonna be doing push-ups. Lift your heels, bend your knees, step or hop to the front. Halfway lift, deep breath in. Exhale, fold in half. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bow. Inhale, half lift. High plank, chaturanga low. Back bend, cobra or up dog or a push up. Down dog, hips up, then inhale, heels lift. Knees bend, step or hop forward. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold in half. Inhale, arms sweep high. Bow again. Half lift could be a crow float back if you want to add that here. You could float to low plank or step to high then drop low. Push up or back bend deep breath. Downward facing lift your hips. Now a little core. Come to high plank. Stay in high plank. Don't move your shoulders. Lift your right leg. You can drop your knees if this is too strong. Lift your right leg. Stay in high plank. Knee to nose. Still in high plank. Kick back. Knee to right elbow, kick back. Knee to right shoulder, kick back. Knee to left elbow, back, nose, back. So you're only moving that leg, right elbow, back, right shoulder, back. Doing well, keep it up, left elbow. Three-legged dog. Half pigeon, right knee to the right side of the mat. Three breaths. I'm thoroughly enjoying this sunshine. It's lovely. It's perfect blue sky. Still with those deep belly breaths. Curl your back toes, push the floor away, try to touch your knee to your nose, high plank to low, back bend or push up, vinyasa, downward facing hips up, back to high plank, stay in high plank, keep the shoulders where they are, lift the left foot if you can, only move the left, knee to nose, back, knee to left elbow, back, knee to left shoulder, back. Knee to right elbow, back, nose, back, keep it going, lots of self-encouragement, left elbow, back, left shoulder, back, right elbow, three-legged dog, half pigeon, right, left knee to the left side, three deep breaths. Curl your back toes under, push the floor away, bring your knee to your nose, and three-legged dog. High plank to low, cobra or up dog, your back bends or a push-up, down dog, lift your hips up and back. Now to our flow, right leg high, step forward, low lunge, reach forward, squeeze on your core, squeeze on the back thigh. Twist to your right. You can have your palms together or you can make a fist with your left hand and push against that. Keep the back thigh on, your leg is straight. If this is too strong, left hand down, right arm up. Change it if you need to. Ease off if you need, take a breath. Reach forward, back heel down, left arm back. Warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. Flying Skandasana, so your spine's parallel to the floor as you bend your left knee. You're lunging to the back of your mat. Back to your Warrior two, turn your right toes forward, the knee is forward. 
Lunge Skandasana if you can, side lunge. You can have your hands on the floor if you need. So low version, I've got my toes facing up so that front knee is in a good position and it's not curling in in an awkward way. Now either stay here or we'll take a really open wild thing which really confuses people at first. So listen for the cues, watch what I'm doing. Right arm, if you want to try, goes behind you. Turn the front foot so you're on the side of the foot. Lift this back heel. Your right hand goes to the floor behind you. Your left arm circles back. And then come back into that side lunge skandasana. We'll do that again a bit faster. So stay here or wild thing. Right hand behind, turn the foot, left arm back. Back into your side lunge, take a breath. Walk your hands forward, low lunge, right leg high, three-legged dog. Vinyasa, high to low plank, adding any extras that you like. Back bend or push up into your down dog. Left leg to the sky. Exhale, lunge. Inhale, reach forward. Squeeze on core, squeeze on that back thigh. Twist to your left side. Remember you can drop this right hand to the floor if that helps you out here, or even hold a block. Reach forward, warrior two right arm back, sink deeply. And now fly, turn your toes to the side, spine parallel to the floor. Flying side lunge, Skandasana. Stick your bottom out. Left toes forward, warrior two once again. Skandasana, go low if you want to. Front toes up. Stay here, or wild thing. Left hand behind your back. Turn to the outside edge of that front foot. Lift your right hip to the ceiling and sweep your right arm back behind. Give yourself space so you don't squash your back. And then we go back into that side lunge. Take a breath. Stay here or again. Wild thing, left hand behind, right arm circles around. Back into your skandasana. Take a breath. Walk your hands forward, low lunge. Left leg high, three-legged dog. High to low plank. I like to add handstands. You certainly don't have to. Vinyasa. Down dog. Two more rounds like that, right leg high. Exhale, lunge. Reach forward, twist to the right. Hold for a breath. Squeeze the back thigh on. Inhale, reach forward. Warrior two. Flying Skandasana. Warrior two, right toes forward. Low Skandasana. Stay or wild thing, right hand behind. Stand us in a side lunge. Crawl to the front, low lunge. Three-legged dog, right leg high. High to low plank. Push up or back bend. Downward facing. Left leg high. Low lunge. Reach forward. Twist left. One breath. Reach forward, warrior two, right arm back. Flying side lunge, Skandasana. Left toes forward, warrior two. Low Skandasana, deep breath. Stay or wild thing, left hand behind, right arm waves around, back into your side lunge. Walk your hands forward. Lift your left leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Vinyasa, high plank to low. Cobra or back bend. <laughs> Cobra up dog are your back bends or push up. Once more, right leg high. Lunge. Reach forward to breathe in. Exhale, twist. Hold for a breath. Reach again. Worry two. Scan us in the fly. Exhale, warrior two. 
go a lot of skandasana. Stay or wild thing, right hand behind you, lift the left hip to the ceiling, back into your side lunge. Walk forward, low lunge. Lift your right leg, high plank to low vinyasa. Add spirit dives or handstand if you like. Left leg high, lunge, reach forward, twist left. Take a breath, back thigh squeezes on, your core is on, reach forward, warrior two. Flying skandasana, warrior two. Low skandasana. Stay or wild thing, left hand behind, lift right hip to the ceiling, side lunge. Walk to the front, left leg to the sky, three-legged. Vinyasa, high to low plank. Push up or back bend, downward facing dog. Step your big toes to touch, walk your hands to your feet at the back and slowly roll to stand. Reach up. Palms to heart center, sink down into your chair and twist to your right. Keep your bottom lower than your head and shoulders. I like to make a fist with the bottom hand, it's just more comfy. Tailbone down towards the floor if you've got an anterior tilt like me. If you don't, it will naturally tilt down towards the floor. Reach forward and then fold, sweep your arms back. Reach forward and twist to your left, palms together or fist with the bottom hand. If this is too strong, you just bring your feet and knees hip width apart and push your right elbow inside of the right knee, a bit more space. Reach forward. Fold down, arms sweep back. Then walk your hands forward to down dog. Stay here or high to low plank flow. Back bend or push up on your breath in. Down dog, then lift your heels, bend your knees. Step hop or handstand to the front. So big toes will touch again, roll yourself to stand. I'm gonna face you this time, same thing. Palms join, sit down, twist to your right. Stay here or side crow. Hands down, shoulders down, your hips have to be elbow height to lift your feet. Any leg variation from there. If your hips are lower than your elbows, it's not gonna happen. If your hands are too close, Make sure they're at least shoulder width apart. Take another breath. Reach forward and then take your bow. Back to chair and then twist to your left. Stay there or hands to the floor. Keep your hips elbow height, drop your shoulders, reach your feet. Lots of self-encouragement. We're here for three, two, one back to chair. Fold over your legs, sweep your arms back behind you. And into chair once more and then either fold Half lift or crow float back. Vinyasa. Back bend or push up to breathe in. Down dog. Let's do two more rounds of flow, a little more colorful. Right leg high. Lunge. Arms reach forward. Twist to your right. Arms reach forward. Pyramid fold. Hold your blocks here if you need to, so that you can straighten the leg. If 
If you want something a little different, you could take your splits, maybe palms together. Keep trying to feel sensation in the back of this standing leg. We're opening it up. Let's meet back in our low lunge and reach your arms forward again. So you can once again twist to your right for five breaths. If you want more, you could spread your arms, you could bind, but keep your straight line shape. Don't let your bottom stick out and the front knee cave in and the back leg collapse. Keep everything in great form. Pointing the right shoulder to the ceiling if you're binding. Keep that back leg straight. Reach forward, warrior two. Flying Skandasana, as low as you can go. Back to your warrior two. Low Skandasana. Wild thing if you want to take it, left arm behind. Skandasana. Now crawl to the front of your mat and sweep your right leg high, we'll add on. Knee to your nose. Fall and start. Kick way off to the left in front of your hip. Reach your left arm up and then forward if you can. Your back heel is down so you're nice and supported. You can lift this foot off the floor if you want to. Now straight leg pigeon, hands to the floor, pivot off the back foot so the back heel points to the ceiling. You're sitting on the outside edge of the leg. Forearms to the floor if you can. So you're in this deep twist. The reason we turn the back heel up is to pull the left hip down, belly button down, chest down. If you want a deeper twist, thread your left arm over to the right. I'm not going to go lower than this, but some people like to lay down here. Lay down if you want to. We're here for two more breaths. Hands to the floor, push the floor away, lift your hip, knee to your nose, vinyasa high to low, back bend or push up, down dog, hips up, left leg high, into your lounge. Arms reach forward, twist to your left, arms reach forward, pyramid. Fold over your front leg. Use your blocks if you can't straighten the leg. Again, if you want more, you can get creative here. Splits if you like. I like to try and bring my palms together in splits. It's just a bit of fun. Low lunge, reach forward again, twist to your left again. You have five breaths. If you want more, you can lay on the legs, spread your wings, even bind. Keep the back leg active. Keep your bottom behind the front knee and ankle. And don't let that front knee cave in. Keep your left toes facing forward. your self-dialogue really positive. Reach forward and then open warrior two. Flying Skandasana. Warrior two. Low Skandasana. Option for wild thing. Left arm behind, right arm circles back. And then again, side lunge. Walk your hands forward, lift your left leg high, bring your left knee to your nose, fall and star, kick out in front of the hip, right arm up forward if you can. Lift the foot if you want to try. And now 
hands to floor, straight leg pigeon. You're sitting on that straight leg, your back heel points up. From here, push yourself away, lift the hip, bring your knee to your nose, high plank to low. Back bend or push up, down dog. We're going for one last round, right leg high. Low lunge, arms reach forward, twist to your right. Reach forward, take your bow pyramid. Reach forward. Twist right, any version, bind if you like. If you're in the bind, you could step your back foot forward and lift the bound leg for your reverse bird of paradise. Then reach both arms forward again, open into your warrior two, flying side lunge skandasana. Warrior two, low side lunge skandasana, wild thing, right hand behind. Exhale back to that lunge. Walk your hands to the front, right leg up and back, knee to nose, Kick over for your fallen star, back heel is down, left arm up, maybe forward, option to pick up the foot. Maybe pull it up next to your head. Sitting down on that straight leg if you can, so turn the back heel up. Add the extra twist if you like. To a normal half pigeon, so push the floor away, slide this right foot across. So now your right knee is at the right side of your mat, the leg is bent. Any variation of this. You can lay down or you could add more twisting. If you want a really juicy twist for your glutes and your back, left elbow in front of right knee, make a fist, push against the fist, and if you can, look up. You don't have to overdo any of this. If it feels good in your body, then do that. If you're steady, if it's not too much for your back. For me, this feels really good in the right glutes. Now, sweep your back leg forward. Gomukhasana, left knee stacked on top of the right. I'm gonna face you for this one so you can see. I've noticed it's quite dark in here because I've got the blinds open. So anyway, hope you can see enough. So if you can't stack your left knee on top, you can just cross your legs, left leg in front. Now, if you can, left hand next to you, reach your right arm up and then across. You could be on this hand or on this forearm. Feel free to close your eyes and keep that self-encouragement going. You're doing a great job. Well done. I'm proud of you. You're on track. Keep going. Rise back up, fold down. You can add an arm variation here if you want to where you have your right arm overhead. 
your left hand behind you, holding your hands or holding your towel. That's going to get into the right triceps and your left shoulder. But if you can't hold hands and you don't have a towel to pass, then just leave it out. Rise up, bring the soles of your feet together, your Bhattakonasana, your feet as close as you want them to be. You could, if you like, interlace your fingers over your toes or even reach forward. Stay here or come into your side splits if you want to. And then from here, bring your legs back in together. Make sure you're facing forward, give yourself a cuddle. Push back, bow your head. And then rock back. We'll take a vinyasa, so come to chair if you like. You could take a crow float back, back bend or push up into your down dog. One last side, left leg high. Low lunge, reach forward. Twist to your left. Reach forward again. Take your bow over your front leg. Bend your front knee, reach forward. Twist to your left. Go deeper if you want, bind if you like. If you're in the bind, you've got the option for reverse bird of paradise. Kicking forward, you might even look back. For me, this is a really nice stretch through the nerves running down the leg and a really juicy twist. And now again, reach forward from your lunge and come into your warrior two. From there, your flying side lunge. Warrior two, go low in your side lunge, stay here or left hand behind, wild thing, back into your side lunge, walk your hands forward, three legged dog, left leg high, knee to nose, fallen star, reach your right arm up and then forward if you can, feel free to pick up the foot if you want to try. Maybe pull it up. Straight leg pigeon, turn your back heel to point up. Forearms down, add the extra twist if you want, right arm to the left. Go as low as you want to go. Hands to the floor, half pigeon. Just pull this left knee across to the left side of your mat. Now the leg is bent. Lay down if you like, if you want that ultra juicy twist that I did last time. Right elbow in front of left knee. Make a fist, push against it.
So I hope you've been enjoying all of these twists. Now from here, lean to your left, sweep your right leg forward. So again, you're going to try and stack your right knee on top of the left. And I'm going to show you that by facing you. Right knee on top of left. If you can't, just cross your legs. Now right hand next to you, left arm up and then across. Back to centre, fold forward if you want the arms, you press the left arm down, stay there or right arm underneath holding hands or holding your towel to get into your top triceps and bottom shoulder, otherwise leave it out. Just keep those deep belly breaths going, just like we started. Now rise up, this time straighten your legs out in front of you, sweep your arms to the sky, fold forward and down. You can bend your knees as much as you need to. Reverse tabletop, hands behind, either keep your legs straight or feet under knees, lift your hips, lift your chest, really stretch out those shoulder tendons that we use so much in all of our push-ups. If you want, you can tilt your head back and open up your neck as well, your throat. Take another deep breath. And then either take a seat and come into shoulder stand. Remember you can use one of your blocks or put your feet up the wall. If you're using a block, use any of the three heights. Lift your hips, feet in the air. This is all you need to do. If you want your full shoulder stand, you rock up, you catch yourself, feet to the ceiling. Otherwise, take any inversion. It could even be a handstand, handstand on the wall, headstand, forearm stand. Ultimately, you want your hands on your back with your pinky fingers running up parallel to your spine rather than holding the sides of your body. So just keep that in mind. Eventually, that's where you want to be. Three more breaths. Now either hug your knees in or take your legs and feet behind you, halasana, plow. If you can't touch the floor with your feet here, hold your back because you've got a lot of pressure on your neck. You want support. I like to hold my back anyway. You can keep your legs straight or go into more of a ball 
knees on your head or next to your ears. Now roll down for your Matsyasana fish pose. Sit on your thumbs, straighten your legs. Lift your chest to the ceiling, resting on your forearms. Then tilt your head back until it's resting on the floor. But your upper back is off the floor. Now five deep breaths. You can do your lion's breath if you want to stick out your tongue. Just breathing into your belly and letting go of any stagnant energy, anything that wants to move. Maybe. So grab your feet or your shins, pull your knees wider than your ribs. Move around as much as you like here. Now in a moment we'll be in Shavasana and I, I recommend you stay there for about five minutes. Keep the music going from the playlist. I will stop it though so you can finish your Shavasana by yourself. Do some cuddle and then make your Shavasana Super comfy. We've been twisting all practice. If you want another twist, go for it. Otherwise, make your way down as relaxing as possible in your Shavasana shape. Let go of any tension. Take a deep breath. Sigh it away. Now, as always, guys, if you like this video, like it. Comment if you want to. Ask questions if you like, if you need. And the next breathwork event online is at the end of July. The next live one is August 26 in Sydney. So contact me if you want details. Let's take one more breath. Let it go. Yoshivasana. Well done.